Yes, Mr. Chairman. Please. Many of our students also don't listen to you. Okay. Thank you. 
forbidden. If you can't look, sometimes it is necessary, sometimes unidentified. You will practice alone now. If there is no sun, think of it. We can converse with you. Yes, even when you are so devout, it is that you are crazy. Development is a practice. This is the easy means you can get. Okay. Or, I'm sure that you have some of our friends here in English. Okay. Teachers of English in the school, in the university. The time are free. My brother used to go. Call, speak, five minutes, ten minutes, chat. In English, you will deal with some ideas. Learn from him, learn from him. So, all of these are practice. And we should not neglect the dictionary in revising the words, the meaning, the parts of speech, and the sounds in dictionaries. To be familiar with the sounds, the correct sounds, which kind of speech is this word. Okay? And also the meaning and to uh, make it in a proper way accordingly. A learner okay, can make mistakes to problem. Nobody is born learned. Learn and from your learning you will discover mistakes. From you and from the other and receiver, you, you can discover which is correct. By the frequent practice, a language can be improved. So again, answer to your question, practice, practice, practice. But what can you practice? You have to divide your time with the four skills. Reading, writing, listening, speaking, and the foundation of the base, which we our class is on today, Crown. Crown starts from the most easy things. My friends, my students, they say that they are easy, you can read, you can cut, but who these things, they, speak, they shut up that. Words here and there. I hope that is satisfactory. Any other? Any other comment? Question? Mr. Bar? Yes. Are there guys okay? Before you get started today, I would like to thank Dr. Yerke, Professor Yerke, for this great lesson today. I guess everybody got a lot of benefits from this uh, session today. Well, my question is, you know, a lot of uh, our students have a lot of problems concerning, you know, listening and synonym. Actually, you know, as we just said, and Dr. Rola just said, now we live in um, an unnamed country, I mean, you know, an un-English speaking country, just like Saturday. But so the problem is a lot of them, you know, will let down when they just deal with less me and Sinan. So what's your advice for students to get rid of this problem? I mean, you know, <clears throat> to overcome this problem. Actually, you know, once they have a lot of meanings for the same word, you know, just like less me and even you know, for synonymy, sometimes you know they have a lot of problems for antonyms. So what's your advice for you students to know? To do to get over this problem. That's my first question because I have two questions. Right, you can uh, synthesize me in order not to forget the uh, second question. Uh, well, my experience, the humble experience, and maybe you are some like this bit of a mind, okay. but what I used to do, uh, for our students, maybe there is uh, what you call uh, special circumstances. We face problem of the production of English language from the school. The school, okay, uh, I don't know what to say, but our students when they come to the university, they come with very shallow background of English, just words. But respecting of that, the curriculum from first preparatory year and then third and secondary school. Students, I don't know the reasons why they don't take it properly. Uh, so, the solution, by the way, for the students, one the important point is that motivation should be created inside the students. Motivation, motivation. Okay, yes, I am a student, I have a problem. So, before starting as students, I have to get a sort of motivation. I have a problem? Yes, I have to overcome this problem. 
that is the means, what are the means to overcome this one. I have to try this, this and that. The first try, the second attempt, this and that. So, another point of view, I started to do it with my special students. Is for every student, and this can be guided by our friends, our colleagues, every student to have a sort of personal dictionary. What is the personal dictionary? In every class, in every lecture, okay, every student is supposed to write from his book 10 or 15 or 20 words. Those words, he, the student, thinks that they are in the category. I hope preparation to prepare, get these words, understand it from your own dictionaries, the parts of speech, the sounds, the meaning, and try to try to memorize them. Not only that, the most important thing is now to try to put these words, vocabularies, ideas, okay, into sentences. And don't stop, practice them. Show them to your friends if you can, but this is what we need because we, there is no interaction among students. Okay? If students did that, and surely we will improve themselves and the other. Again, counsel to your teacher. Ask your teacher, is it correct? I did this. Is it suitable? Show me, guide me for other mistakes. Okay, so first, uh, become a guide to me. Personal dictionary, like what I want for the specialization. In every topic, every uh, curricula, every course, students should prepare and preparation should have is very important. If you need to get success in a course, English or whatever, you have to go through three means preparation, practice, through the presentation in the class, and revision. If you started before the class preparing, reading the lesson, what time? Sometimes if the uh, lesson is strong, difficult, a lot of difficult new words, it takes time, more no three, four, more five times. Select the new words, understand them, then go through them again. Get the grasp, meaning of the passage, the conversation, connect it with the title. Okay, then again, understand it for general. Then start to practice. What are the easy ones? Go with them. What are the difficult ones? Stop here and ask yourself. If you cannot, go to the dictionary. If you cannot get something in the dictionary, next class, make it the first person to ask your friend, your teacher. So, practice again and practice and practice. So, uh, words, you will come by yourself. If there is a sort of after motivation, work, the students will realize, okay, uh, how many words, how many meanings for this word? The word for which we say, work. Is it now? Is it good? How can I use it in this context? How can I use it in that? Okay. By the time it comes, and also by the practice. Today, I put an idea. Yes, I keep it. And I don't neglect it. I have to keep it, put in my mind. Next time, I have to improve it. Okay. And to have a sort of continuous process of learning. So, students should focus on uh, having motivation, desire for motivation, working. And, and, and again, and at the back. Don't be shy to speak. Speak. Even if you think that it is wrong, it is correct, no problem. Let your seniors review and make it correct. Second question. Actually, it's not just clustering, but for the end, just sort of kind of making it interesting and inspired to you guys, which benefits you. So, I'm not asking that really, I'm just trying you know, to just make it clear for you. You know, as I just said, the story I was saying, you know, it gives me nothing but pleasure to be here with Dr. Yankee and listen to such a great, uh, you know, lesson, you know, great, you know, session. Um, my second part is on the two part question is according to the Saudi education regime, even in our style, students think that English is is nothing, you know, is a thing in the language. You know, so nobody cares about English, even in our those students don't care about studying English and they know that English is an additional uh, and maybe no subject. So they don't care about English, especially now that most of them think that they will major in different uh, uh, meaning of subjects like languages, like Arabic, even you know, uh, biology, whatever. So now they need by some motivation, especially now we and my colleagues as well, I think they have the same problem. Now I'm just coming to the heart of your core. 
I know everybody is suffering and encountering this problem. You know, once you come to this problem you, in your class and you just find the students uh, frustrated, depressed, not even wanting to study with you in your class, so you need a lot of motivation. And sometimes you need incentives. I just lost it to the team yesterday and I, you know, um, I uh, showed this problem. You know, the students need a lot of motivations, a lot of incentives to be able even to speak and to know the importance of English. As uh, Dr. Elia said, you know, uh, English is very important, okay? And we could just find the importance of English in a lot of ways, even you know, if you're just speaking to yourself. If you want to speak to a native speaker, even you know, a foreigner, if you just want to travel abroad to complete your study, so you need English. So, what's your advice to your students and to us, you know, teachers, to follow? I mean, you know, to get this point through the students' minds. I mean, you know, how can we get this point through the students' mind that English is very important? That's that. Uh, that's one point. The other point.